welcome to the first masterclass of our Pain Points Week. This week, we are aiming to address some of the most important issues facing hospitality in March 2022. It's going to be at 10 o'clock every day this week. I am Jane Pendleby, CEO of HOSPA, and you're very welcome and thank you for joining us here today. I'm delighted to be joined by Rupert Gutteridge, a well-known and popular face in hospitality. And today, we're going to learn about how we can make sure our guests have the perfect stay. There's been a lot reported on how the return to hospitality hasn't met the expectations of our guests in many, in many places. Um, and part of this was because expectations were so high following the pandemic where we had limited options for socializing and staying away from home. But Rupert and Oki have the ways and means to ensure the best opportunity to arrange the perfect stay. So a, a double whammy effectively, happy guests and richer returns for the property. Um, we're here for 30 minutes today and every day this week, so um, we ought to get started. I have some questions ready for Rupert, um, but please do ask your own on the Q&A and the chat box that you should see there on, on your menu. Um, so Rupert, do you want to say hello and then I'll dive into the first question? Yes, Jane. Well, thank you very much for uh, inviting me along to this uh, wonderful event. It's always good to be um, involved with all the th good things at HOSPA too. So i um, very pleased to be here and uh, thank you again. And I'm looking forward to a few questions and hopefully a bit of participation from those people who are on the call today as well. So uh, let's fire away. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so to your mind and in Oki's opinion, what is the biggest issue, the biggest pain point facing hospitality in, in 2022? Um, well, I would I would say that the issues around hospitality, um, I, I don't think they've changed an awful lot in that um, as it's just some of the reasons have I think uh, so. You know, getting good staff is a challenge that every every company in the world, not just within hospitality, has. Key good staff, good training um, is is something that's essential to to to, to the running of a of a good company. So um, with the shortage that we're all, which has just been magnified recently because of the issues around Brexit, COVID. I mean, COVID really has put a magnifying glass on this or, or, or made this problem an exponential problem um, because of course, hospitality was um, was subject to, you know, to the pain of uh, lockdown and everything else so much more than many other businesses, especially, within, um, especially retail, for example. And so there was a lot of migration, I, I guess, as people were um, put on furlough, hotels, pubs, restaurants were all closed. People were left with um, a, a choice, you know, should they sit there or should they go off and, and, and try and find another career? And others, and, and a lot moved out of the industry. When you put that alongside the challenges that came with Brexit as well, and a lot of the European staff moving back home um, or, 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 and looking elsewhere, again, it has just made the challenge of getting good staff within hotels a big, big problem. And of course, the hospitality is a very service orientated industry and it is very, people expect to see a, a face on the front desk. Um, and so, you know, it, it's that welcome that uh, the hospitality has always been so um, so good at and, and, and well known for um, that has led to some of the other areas in the back of the house feeling the strain, should we say, and potentially not making the customer journey as smooth as it possibly could or, um, you know, making the most of the opportunity to uh, it's a horrible expression, but get a bigger percentage of the wallet. But I mean, a bigger percentage of the wallet of a guest coming in sounds pretty ruthless. But at the end of the day, people are coming because they want to spend money. They want to enjoy their their, their journey, their trip, their weekend, whatever it is. And um, Anoki has the tools to really automate that process and um, pick up a lot of the uh, the hard work um, that, that, that has been done historically by people, uh, by the members of staff themselves. So this is all about somebody um, probably having already agreed to come and stay in the hotel to come and visit um, and and Oki's job is to come in there and give them opportunity to enhance enhance their guest stay. Do you want to talk a bit through how that works? Yeah, yeah most definitely, Jane. Most, so, so really what happens, there's a lot of studies done on this as well and, and, and I think we we all appreciate this is that when you phone up a hotel or book an experience a holiday and um, whatever it is you have in your mind 
an amount you're going to spend and you commit to that at the time at that point of the reservation and the pain of spending that money sort of puts a puts a seal on you spending too much more you 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 say right that's what i'm prepared to commit to for that stay for that weekend for that business trip or whatever it is within that hotel on that day um but what is also known is that um when you get closer towards the arrival date of that particular booking, then what you'll find is that you've forgotten or the pain of spending that money has disappeared and the probability, the likelihood of you being enticed into spending more to enjoy your trip, enhance your trip, enjoy, enhance your stay um, is very much more increased. And, and so what Oki does really very well is it assesses the type of customer that, it, that, that you are. It, segments the customers into these into these sort of um, uh, profiles, if you like, and then pushes out to them uh, some correspondence, email, WhatsApp, whatever it is, to say, I think what would be really good for you to stay is maybe one of these or maybe one of these. So instead of the hotelier having to go through an entire list of would you like a spa treatment? Would you like a business meeting room? Would you like a, you know, and, and having to do all of that hard work of first of all, assessing the, the customer type, what they might like to buy, all those types of things, and finding the right point um, at which to present that to them. Oki automates all of that for you. So it works out what your reservation date is, works out what your arrival date is, finds the optimal time to say, why don't I present this guest? with some further enhancements to their to their um their trip and um and 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 then it it serves for the benefit of everybody the hotels are really happy because they're getting a, a higher spend the guest is really happy because they are invested into their trip their journey their weekend their stay prior to arrival they're getting excited about it they're feeling that the hotel's paying attention to them and loving them and everything else and so they're really sort of um uh, it, it's a win-win they're feeling good the hotel's feeling good but more importantly the hotel itself is not having to do an awful lot of work for this the, this whole process has been automated and um, the, the, um, the member of the paying public, the guest, has had an option and they say, great, I'd love one of those, please, and, and away we go. But what is really remarkable, Jane, I think about this is, and what has really opened my eyes is that typically when you think of an upsell, you think of, well, there's a, um, I might go for a room upgrade in terms of room type, or maybe there's some breakfast, or maybe it's a, it's a food and beverage package. But when you put your mind to it, and what Oki have done very, very well, is put together a, a library, a bank of these kind of um, opportunities to sell to guests when they come and stay. And you would be rem you would be amazed at some of the best selling the best selling um, sort of uh, upsells. You know, for, so there's there's always the room upgrade, there's always the parking, there's always the breakfast but things like rose petals on the bed whoever heard whoever knew that that was such a uh, a product that would be sold as much as it is and again we are absolutely amazed you know people are choosing that as a romantic breakaway uh, and then they put that on there now here's the significant thing you can't offer that to a guest when they come and check in because by the time they check in, you haven't got time to get to the room, throw rose petals everywhere, come back down and they'll say, now your room is ready. So that sort of ex um, experience has to be sold to them prior to arrival. And that's so it's easy to organize. Um, it, it's, it's easy to implement. The guest is really happy with it. So th that would be that would be one. Then during the stay as well, there's another very good package that um, I've seen uh, hotels choose, and this is all or, or deal out of the library that they offer to their guest, and that would be another one, which is some some hotel very cleverly puts a Polaroid camera into the room and charges for the use of that Polaroid camera. So they give them a you know 15, 20 photos or whatever it is um, in, in the back of the camera and a little map of all the exciting places to go and see, which are very Instagrammable uh, on their city uh, break dur during that weekend. So again, it's really enhancing the guest's journey, the experience, their stay whilst they're in the hotel. They make, you know, the hotel is getting money from a guest experiencing things that are outside of the hotel and not within the, necessarily the control of the hotel, but the hotel has cleverly 
put this together and is making the most of most of uh, the revenue position, the guest experience. And so therefore, it's, um, as I say, it really is a win win situation. here. So that, that, that's the, the, the type of activity that Oki is doing very well and, and guests are absolutely loving. I guess, especially at the moment, because so many people prepaid for things during 2020 and even 2021. Mm. So, as you say, it has all been paid for. The money's gone. It, the pain has yeah. gone of that. Would you say it works best in hotels where they are asking for prepayment? Or um, do, do you think just because they've they've got the room rate, they've, they've come to terms with that, and then they'll add on all the other bits and pieces along the way? Do you, is, is there, are, there, are there any metrics that are showing it works better in, in one instance over the other? Um, well, it, it, it's funny you said um, that. So here, here's the thing: there has been some work and some studies done on um, what they call, and I forget the word now. But basically, in your mind, when you commit to a booking, you prepare to spend X amount on the room and and uh, for, for for the weekend. That amount of spend represents approximately 40% of what they're going to spend during their entire stay. So that other 60% of the wallet, as I referred to earlier, um, is available. And they are going to spend that money on taxis, on experiences in and around the hotel and everything else. So what Oki is doing effectively is um, helping them uh, spend that money prior to arrival or gearing themselves up so they know what's available so they can spend it more and more easily whether they spend that money or, or, or as a um, uh, as you say upfront um, pre-stay or whether they uh, do it on checkout doesn't seem to make any difference at all you know in their mind they have the 40 percent that they were going to spend on the room rate and everything else and that other uh, ancillary spend was always going to be there and so they, they they've just they they would have spent it anyway so um so to answer your question it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter um all we are doing effectively though is when we're offering this um these opportunities these experiences these things for to the guest we are popping that onto the guest bill and then they're settling that at the checkout Okay, and you say there about um, popping onto the guest bill and doing all those. Mm. Presumably, mm. You're, you're working with the key PMS providers, property management system providers. Yeah, no, I, I, again, absolutely essential. And you know, um, I, as you know, I'm afraid I've been in this industry far too long to, to, to know the, the advantages and disadvantages. And one of the big advantages that obviously Oki has is the level of integration. You know, if you're not integrated into all of the big PMS providers. So, uh, uh, many of the PMS providers, then um, not just the big ones, I should say, um, then then obviously uh, it's key because this product is all about automation. This is about making the job easier for the front desk staff. You know, they don't want to be sifting through emails, sorting out what guests might want and then making manual postings onto bills and all that sort of stuff. So if you can automate that process where the guest is given an offering, they choose it and then it goes on to their build. That really makes the whole journey seamless for both them and the staff within the hotel. And so therefore, um, as I say, it's that win-win scenario. So um, again, what that's giving the staff time to do is then think of more creative um, offers, deals and everything else and push that out. And then more importantly, when the guest comes to the front desk, we can provide them with a report so that they know exactly who's coming, what deals they've um, taken advantage of, what they're, they're what they've um, experienced so far, what they're going to experience during the rest of their stay. They've chosen all of these lovely deals, if you like, and um, and 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 the, the front office staff can then help them through that journey. So I hope you're looking forward to the Instagrammable journey as, as uh, during the weekend, or or the roast battles on the bed, or or the parking if it's you know, or a meeting room, or whatever it is. So um, really, sort of. In, as we say, enhancing the customer journey during their, during their stay at the hotel. And you mentioned a, a library of, of upgrades. When, when Oki mm. go into mm. a hotel, do you sort of take all those ideas with, the, with you and do your, do your people yeah. that are doing the implementation make recommendations or does that tend to come from the marketing department within the hotel or is it just a mix, mix of everything? Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It, it, it can be either of any of one of those, really. You know, one of the important things, as people, as we have known, you know, Craig, years ago when people were setting up websites to sell bedrooms on, you know, within the hotel website, the important thing that everyone had to do 
was make sure that the pictures and the content was absolutely right. Because if it's rubbish, if the image isn't very, is of a poor quality and the description's poor, it doesn't lead to a lot of success as far as selling is concerned. And so what we do very well is we capture the right image, we capture the right content in terms of the, the wording, and we put all of these, what we call deals, into this library, this deck, if you like, that the hotel can then choose from and say, what a great idea, what a great idea, let's implement those let's get some upsells as, as far as those sort of things are concerned and um and it makes the job again very very easy for for the hotel staff now if you're at the type of hotel that's in a beautiful location or have some unique aspects to to the sort of the offering that you can provide then obviously they create their own deals put some lovely imagery around it and we can help them upload those and then they're available to to offer to, to the guest and as i say what's really important here though is that you build up this beautiful library of potential offers and the last thing you want as a guest is to have to go through this entire library so again the clever piece to oki is to say segment the guests, find out which ones would take advantage of which deals, and then give them a couple, two or three offerings so that the guest isn't overloaded with choice, but is given obviously the right deal at the right price at the right time, as the cliche goes, but it's absolutely right. And um, and, 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 and that's what we do very well. So, um, yeah. And I, I guess it works just as well in a city centre property as, as a, as a, or a rural seaside location. It doesn't really matter the type of hotel. It, it's a suitable for everybody. No. Yeah, well, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, the, ev all hotels have the same challenge, no matter what grade of hotel you are. If you're at the very top end, five star with spa resorts and everything else, then obviously your deal library, your, your opportunity to enhance the guest stay with ancillary spend is is huge because you've got so many potential offerings. You've got so many staff as well, and they're running around making sure that the guest's journey is, is great, their experience is as wonderful and everything else. The same aspects meet um, uh, at, at the, let's call it the, the budget or the economy end of, 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 the scale, of the scale as far as hotels are concerned. If you're staying in a, in a city center hotel where your objective is to have a bed for the night as, you know, as, uh, economically priced as, as you possibly can, you know, you still want that experience to be a good one. And so you may, you, your expectation is going to be that I had a nice clean bed, a nice breakfast, and, uh, and, and, and that's, what I, that's what I want. But there are other things that you can still upsell to. You can still upsell to, or perhaps we've got parking. Again, what about the, the, the room service breakfast? What about, there are small aspects because you're, um, that, that can be sold to, to the guest, but um, you just need to, you need to present that to them so that you're building their expectation of all the potential services that are available to them when they come and stay. Because your challenge in the economy end of the scale is there are far fewer staff. So you absolutely need to automate these kind of processes because there aren't the people around to 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 really kind of do this for you or anything like that. So so again, we're finding that this um that this solution is just as valuable at the, the economy end as it is to the to the resort five star end of, of the market and, and and everyone in between. Because at the end of the day, it's just a, ma a matter of automating this process, which is about improving the guest journey and making the job easy for the front desk staff or the back office staff within the hotel. And um, tell me, but how long has Oki be, been around? Well, in, in my life, very short, because I've only just <laughs> recently joined the company, but um, it's been around for a number of years now. It's, it's been around for, um, oh, Chris, very good question, and I should know the exact yeah, founding, <laughs> and, uh, and I, should, I should know the founder's date, and uh, Eric, who I'm sure people will know, who founded the business um, with, with a couple of his colleagues as well, um, uh, uh, I think it was about five or six years ago, and um, that's when they, they initially seeded the idea, um, and it has grown very quickly uh, over the last three years. Um, and uh, you know they, their growth rate has been tremendous. There's over three thousand hotels now using this solution, so they've done very very well in the last couple of years. Um, even despite the 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 pandemic, um, obviously um, the pandemic showed that uh, room occupancy was dropping, um, and and so the revenue was obviously in dropping. So 
making sure that they captured every possible dollar or euro or pound that they possibly could um, was key to hotels. And this upselling tool allowed that that to happen. And, and a lot of hotels have recently bought into that point of, crikey, if my RevPAR isn't quite where it was, pre-pandemic then what can what lever can i possibly pull to get it back up to uh, up to, to the levels it was and um and and so we're finding there's an awful lot of uptake now in this solution to try and get back to those pre-pandemic levels of red power and, uh, and and everything else and those um, three thousand odd clients that you mentioned mm. are they mm. are they around mm. the uk europe the world no. How far is and they, they they literally this is a beautiful again the beautiful thing about oki as opposed to working in pms systems where you got a lot of financial sort of getting taxes right and all these kind of um, uh, challenges oki has been able to spread globally very very quickly so we have an office down in singapore uh, which is run by vijesh and she and her team uh, look after the whole of um, the the asian region so we go ac across asia australia down into the middle east a number of hotels around the middle east all through eastern europe western europe and across into the us as well so again truly global is um, a truly global footprint um because again this solution is very easy to implement you know it's all it's, again many solutions have to send a guy to the hotel with a you know with a book or a spanner or whatever it is, you know, Oki is very, very simple to implement. It's all done remotely. Um, so no matter where you are, um, we can put the deals together for you um, that, that are suitable for your region geographically or or whatever, and um, and, and implement it from our from our home, which is in Amsterdam. Okay, but that was you took my next question away. Actually, I was going to ask you if you actually have to um, send somebody on site to do it, but literally yeah. not at all. No, no, we don't. And, you know, it's always good. Yeah, again, this is the challenge in hospitality, I find personally, th these days is that, um, you know, hospitality has an expectation of, you know, that they deal with their customers very much in a face to face sort of scenario. And I think that a lot of hoteliers want that experience back from their suppliers, you know, and so a lot of them are sort of saying, Oh, well, is somebody coming to site is somebody uh, going to train or, or whatever. You know, it's not required these days. Videos can be put together, online training can be put together. And I will say one of the, uh, one of the sort of, if there can be a silver lining to the COVID situation is that the whole online experience is, is an absolute um, default now. And, and so it has meant that the implementation of solutions has become very, very acceptable to be done all online. So again, with online uh, classes, um, with videos, with um, um, you know, uh, so some of the documentation, everything else, people do not expect us to send people to sites to, to implement, to train and everything else these days, which is great because, um, well, it's good for the planet in terms of the green credentials, but it's also a whole lot easier. You can fit in small time slots because hoteliers, as we say, are very time poor. They're very, um, uh, they're, they're struggling with, with numbers and everything else. So to find small windows where you can do a bit of online training and everything else is is, is absolutely ideal for, for them and for us. And it means that if you really see the benefit of this, which is, you know, do, which we can illustrate through an, through a number of our clients that this, the, the ROI is just incredible. But um, if you really see it, you can get it, you can turn around, implement it, and we have hotels who are reporting great ROI within two hours of turning the system on. Oh so you know, you know, you just literally out go the out go the offers. People start accepting them, and the revenue starts coming in straight away. So it's really, really straightforward, um, and hard to understand why somebody wouldn't do it. No, that absolutely. And if, if you can get your return, I mean, two hours would be incredible. But if you, I mean, that, whatever it is, if it's if it can start at that short yeah. time period, then everyone's yeah. going to yeah. make a, a fairly good yeah. return on investment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love the fact that you yeah. said there that if there's a silver lining to the pandemic, because like that's been my mission really yeah. throughout is to try and find a, a positive. Um, yeah. One of the interesting ones was when I was talking to Hot Stats during um, our 2020 conference. So when yeah. we were really at the yeah. worst of, of lockdown, yeah. and and I 
I said, it was Michael Grove, I said, can we, can we find a positive here? And he said, yeah, a positive yeah. in the p &L at the moment? It, it's, it's pretty hard. Um, but there yeah, was, yeah. it was room service. Room service oh. had been a big upside, <laughs> um, so percentage rise. Yeah, so we yeah. found a positive even, even then. But I, I guess Oki, okay, as you were saying, could kick in there with, with room service. If, it, if it's no, Absolutely, absolutely. So um, again, you know, um, definitely on the whole breakfast sides people have an assumption that everyone's going to go down for breakfast again covid has made people a little bit hesitant about where they are where they're sitting and everything else you know and i'm pleased to say that you know it's nice to see the, the relaxation and, and everything else but you've got to keep in mind those people who are slightly um sensitive to, to the sort of the, the covid conditions and everything else so the option of having a room service breakfast and and upselling a, a room service breakfast or whatever to them in um during their stay is is it's very straightforward and very easy so Brilliant. we do actually have a couple of questions we've got a couple of minutes left so um shortish answers okay. i think please <clears throat> and the first one it seems very to me that the library okay. of upsells um opportunities um can be never ending does oki use ai artificial intelligence or ml ma machine learning machine learning so Cracky, Nat, what a huge question because <laughs> machine learning, AI, it's a topic that is that is absolutely huge. So um, we do an awful lot of, you know, using the algorithm, using a number of algorithms for the segmentation engine that we have in order to reduce the number of offerings and really find the right deal for the right person um, is absolutely implemented. Um, um, but it, whoever is asking the question is absolutely right. Going forward, that will just become a bigger and bigger piece of how we decide, um, you know, what offer to put to what to what person. And and just to make it a bit more relevant for the revenue managers sort of out there as well, you can imagine being able to forecast what your availability is in two, three, four months, and then know what the pricing is for your upsells based on the demand that you're probably going to be experiencing. You have no visibility of it at the moment, but the revenue management systems are all being able to, to, to drive that sort of knowledge. And if we're with our integrations into those revenue management systems, we're able to not only offer the right product, but also get the price right based on the demand that should be available at that time as well. Brilliant. Um, and the other question is, um, can a guest choose or select something that hasn't been offered to them? I guess there will always be links to more offers, um, but is there an opportunity as well for them to re request something to give you another new quirky um, opportunity yeah. to add to your library of, of uh, upgrade yeah. features? Yeah, I mean, it, it is, it is. And, you know, one of the big things is that um, what I suggest to people as well is that just because an offer has gone to a guest and they have seen it but not purchased it doesn't mean to say they're not interested. So, for example, I might be coming to a hotel and I see that parking has been offered to me. It's a pretty boring and pretty dull one, but let's just say parking hasn't been offered to me. On the day of um, arrival, I notice the trains are, are stuck because of the winds or the planes or, or whatever. So I decide to drive. But because I have seen the offer has been made to me, I know that parking is available. And so when I get to the front desk, I can now purchase that because um, it has been made available. But that doesn't quite answer the question because there are a whole number of other packages that I could be offered to, uh, that could be offered to me that haven't been and I could purchase. And then that becomes, um, um, we've been speaking predominantly about the pre-stay selling piece. The customer journey is an experience that goes at the, from the point of reservation right to the point of beyond checkout. And you can upsell to customers all the way across that journey from, from um, pre-stay all the way through to when they hit the front desk through to during their stay and everything else. So we're building our journey to, um, or we're building our experience our, our, our solution to help the customer through that entire journey for, um, from pre-stay all the way through to post-stay. So they can be offered a number of things at various times during their journey. Brilliant. Well, that brings us nicely to, to pretty much the end, actually. That's that's flown by. But thank you good very good. much, Rupert. There's a lot there to get people thinking, I'm sure. Um, good, good. 
this and and all of our masterclasses will be recorded or are being recorded and will be recorded and they'll be available to view um, on the website later this week um so please everybody listening today please do register and tune in tomorrow morning when i'll be talking to sarah duncan from sleeping lion all about sustainability um and how a lack of action can seriously damage not just the planet but also your your own business so um thank you rupert very much for joining me today that was really interesting insight into oki and how we can address our our guest expectations and make sure we meet them as best we can so thank Thanks very much for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.